Hey guys, Roby here with another Divi Engine quick tip for you using our Divi Ajax Filters plugin. But you can use this tip in both Divi Machine and Body Commerce also as we include it in both those plugins also. So adding these convenient filter parameters as you filter through your posts, products, whatever post type you choose is super simple using Divi Ajax Filters. Now users love this type of interaction, so let's go take a look at how to add them to your sites. Alrighty guys, so here I am on the front end of my site where I have my Ajax filters right here on the left hand side and I am currently filtering through all of these products. Now you can see when I drag this over, it's going to filter the products and then you'll see that it filtered the products and if I just select let's say blue here, that it quickly filters out all the products that have blue options pretty easy to do but you, you see that it doesn't have those tags up here that are easy and convenient for users to add or delete as they go through so let's enter the visual boulder here to take a look at how we add that on there alrighty great load it up we can see here that I've got all my models here on the page and here I have my filter module so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the settings for that and you'll see how quick and easy this really is all I'm going to do is you're going to select the fields here that I've got added here. I've got the search field, my color field, and my price field. You can add the filter parameters on any of these that you choose. I'm just going to work with the color and the price as I think those are the ones most people will be going after. So you just select the settings for that one or any one that you choose. And you just scroll down here to layout options. And here within layout options, you've got something that says show filter parameters. And that is literally what we do. You can say, okay, well, I want to show with the title and I'll do one with title and one without so you can kind of see what that's all about. And then you just save that one. And then we'll go back up here and we're going to do the same thing with price. We're going to also start here with layout and it automatically goes there as that's where I was with the last one. So it makes it convenient for you. I'm going to say show filter parameter and this time I'll say without title so you can see the difference. So let me save that. I'm going to save the module and then I'm just going to save the layout. So with my layout saved here, I'm going to exit the visual boulder. Here I am on the homepage again. And now you'll see that when I click the yellow, it's going to say color yellow. Now remember this one, we've got the label or the title added to this filter parameter. And then if we go ahead and adjust the price, you'll see that it's just got the price there, but it doesn't give you any context as to what that is, but it makes it pretty easy. So I can go ahead and delete out yellow and now it'll show you all the products within this price range, which is amazing. And then again, you can just delete it out again. So you don't need to go hit that reset button every time. And there we go. We've got all of our products on the page again. This is a super cool feature and it's a really great way to engage users on your site. It just adds less clicks to getting what they want. Low load times. It's a fantastic feature. And again, you can use this with the standalone Divi Ajax filters plugin with Divi Body Commerce and with Divi Machine. It's a really good deal. And yeah, it's kind of nice of us to include it with all those plugins, but we love it so much and we want to put it in your hands to see how and what you will build with this plugin. Now, if you're new to Divi Ajax filters, definitely check out the link in the description. There might be a small discount in there for you if you do to choose to buy the plugin and start building amazing filters for your sites. And if you're an existing Divi Ajax filters user, thank you for using the product. And if you didn't know about this feature, I'm glad that we were able to help you out and teach you how to fully utilize that investment in your business. So guys, Thank you for watching and if you like and subscribe the page, you can definitely get all the updates of future Divi Engine quick tips that will help you utilize your plugins to the full extent. So guys, this is Roby with the Divi Engine team. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye for now.